All right, so we are on to scout rifles. Now, scout rifles are a little interesting to rank just due to the fact of how they work. Realistically, if you're on a big map like Widow's Court, they're fantastic. If you're on a smaller map like Anomaly, they're going to be really bad. But I just kind of rank them as best as I could. I feel most scout rifles, honestly, are middle of the pack. And then there's a few that are really good, as you'll see from the tier list. And I, I obviously talk about all that. I'm obviously rating all these scout rifles in playing comp or trials i'm not rating any of them for quick play because some of them are actually fantastic in quick play but are not all that great for comp i'm also not ranking them on any form of builds because obviously in my opinion running a scout rifle if you were playing dawn blade floating around i think every scout rifle is amazing but realistically i'm just basing the weapon on the weapon and that is it i'm not doing anything else but if you do enjoy the tier list, please remember to like. If you do enjoy my content, do consider subscribing. Thank you and enjoy the tier list. Okay, so starting off with number one, Asha's Embrace Adept. So it does get Adepts. It is a 260 rate of fire, so one of the fast ones. It's full auto. Typically one of the more fun scout rifles in my opinion. But these archetypes struggle a little bit with their time to kill. They're not super good. And... Overall, they just take a lot of shots to get people down, but they they can make do, especially if you can put some damage perks on them. But this particular one it doesn't really have a whole lot going for it. It's perpetual is good for stability, but other than that, there isn't really a whole lot for it. Maybe you could have a fun little mini game of Focus Fury. Eye of the Storm is probably your best bet, but overall, it's not a very good scout rifle. We are going to put this one right down in the deer. Raya's Love. So this is a 180. 180s are typically in an awkward spot where they still take the same amount of shots to kill as a 200, but they just do it a little bit slower. There are a few niche cases, which I'll get into a little bit later, that that is fine, but they're typically just overall worse than 120 or 200s, sorry. But this is craftable and it does have rapid hit, which is good. No distractions is pretty good. Explosive payload is pretty good. So overall, this is. Honestly, a pretty good scout rifle. Keep away is pretty good for the accuracy bonus, but it's nothing super crazy. Ex Explosive is always a good cherry on top, though, to help flink your opponents and just overall is a great perk. So honestly, I think this is a good middle of the road scout rifle. Honestly, if it was a 200, I would say it would be tier, but because it is a 180, I'm going to put it in C tier. So contingency plan, another rapid fire one. These things struggle a little bit with their range, but it is a scout rifle, so it still makes do. All right, continue G plan. So another rapid fire scout rifle. The recoil direction isn't all that great. It has firmly planted, which is all right. No distractions or surplus. Kill clip is good on these. Elemental is okay, but I feel like with the way that the time to kill works, you almost need kill clip to really make it so it has a 0.7. With Kill Clip, it is fantastic. But without Kill Clip, it's pretty lackluster. But overall, it's it's a it's a decent scout rifle. I'll put it in C. It's definitely better than the Trials one, but still a little lackluster, to say the least. Doom of Chalkus, so you can either craft this or get an Adept version. So it has some interesting roles. We have Explosive Payload, which is good. It has Eye of the Storm, which is fun. It has Firefly, Dragonfly, which is a fun niche build, but I wouldn't really say it's anything super crazy. It is a 180, so it's not the greatest. So honestly, for PvP, we're going to put it in D tier. It's not that great. It can be fun with its niche build, but definitely not competitive by any means. All right, so on to DMT. Now, this exotic has been all over the meta, from being the best gun in the game to being one of the worst guns in the game to now being in a pretty good spot. And it's craftable now, so you can pick whatever you want. It gets enhanced perks. So overall, I would say you'd want either moving target or rapid hit, but nothing is better than a Vorpal DMT for taking out supers. This thing just guns supers. It is so good. The exotic trait isn't the greatest anymore. It, it, it helps, but it's not as good as it once was, that's for sure. The rate of fire increase that you get isn't the greatest. And the hipfire definitely takes a lot more precision than it used to. I think DMT is a good A tier uh, scout rifle. I don't think it is the best in the game by any means, but I definitely think it is better than some. Eternal Battle Zone. So this is a 200 rate of fire. So it has a nice 90 
0.9 second time to kill. It has slide shot, which is great. Rapid hits, great. And quick draw is okay. Kill clip's good. But other than that, you really wouldn't want anything here. But slide shot, kill clip's good. Or even killing wing, kill clip could be pretty good. Rapid hit. Overall, not, not a bad scout rifle. It's got scopes on it. So overall, pretty good. I put this one in C or B tier, sorry. It's definitely a lot better than these ones. It's more usable, but it's still not a fantastic scout rifle. Fang of Ear Ute Adept. So you can get this one is an adept one, obviously, and it can get enhanced perks on it. So overall, a really good start. The stat package on it is actually pretty good for one of these fast fire rate scout rifles. It can get keep away for some extra accuracy. Rapid hits, fantastic. Sword logic's good. Precision instrument on this archetype is actually really good. And Curse Thrall can be a niche but fun pick. Overall, it's honestly a pretty solid scout rifle. The archetype isn't really helping it too much, but overall with just how juiced the stat package is for this archetype and the good perk pool, honestly, I think this is a B tier one. It's not a, the best scout rifle in the world by any means, but it definitely can put in some work, especially on those longer range maps. The Gilasandu 47. So this is another 180, but it has what 180s need to be competitive, in my opinion. Box breathing. Box breathing makes it so when you, you know, scope in for a second, it procs and it increases your precision damage, which actually makes it so these can three tap. A 180 with box breathing on it is so strong. Like, it, you, you down people so fast. It's like pre-nerf not forgotten and you can do it from let's see how far 73 meters and that's only with 41 range we could do it if we really wanted to pack in the range here to make it like the max out of the max range we could possibly get you can down somebody in 0.67 seconds at 85 meters 86 meters almost that's pretty crazy obviously it's a scout rifle you have to play a little slower but box breathing accuracy bonus from keep away Honestly, this is a fantastic scout rifle. I don't think it's the best, but I definitely think it's A tier. I think 180s with box breathing are so strong. All right, so speaking of 180s with box breathing, we have the king right now. With box breathing, you can get rapid hit or no distractions, whatever one you prefer. And it gets a depth mods on it. It's got a juice stat package. Overall, just better than the last one that we just looked at. In pretty much every way we just we love luxury this thing is an s tier scout rifle so good so strong and anybody who has a good one is just gonna fry on super long range maps honestly if you know how to play with it it's it's crazy all right so we got another rapid fire scout rifle so it has rapid hit kill clips good realistically that's probably what you'd want Bite Stinger is okay, but not really that necessary. This is probably a C-tier scout rifle. Last right. So this one has a set roll, so you can either do keep away, opening shot, or reconstruction with Focus Fury. Honestly, this keep away is really good. The range obviously helps out a little bit, but mostly it's that accuracy cone growth that we really like. Opening shot on primaries just isn't that good so honestly i'd argue you just use focus fury with this but even then if you use focus fury it doesn't really do much for you it can help like on the lower resilient side of things like five and below but not a whole lot of people are doing that but if you can two tap then is really good but most people are running at least six or higher nowadays so honestly this scout rifle is just it's not good it, it doesn't really feel good. I feel like these DMT archetype ones, the 120s, just aren't very good. DMT is the only good one, in my opinion. So we're going to put this in the D tier. It could be fun to use, just not good. So another 120, the long arm. So this one's a little bit better than the last one. At least it has, you know, rapid hit, explosive. It's got some actual usable perks. Maybe you could use hip fire grip if you really want, but then... It gets to a point where I argue you might as well just use a DMT at that point. I don't know. This thing is just... I just don't think these are very good compared to other scout rifles in the D tier. All right, Mita Multi-Tool. So Mita is one of the faster paced scout rifles you can use. 200 RPM, fires really quick, has a 0.9 TTK, has 71 meters of range. You keep your radar up all the time, high cal. 
overall, it's it's a good scout rifle. I don't think it's anything super crazy, but I definitely think it is middle of the line. I would I would definitely put Maida in B tier. I think it can be really strong and be really you make you go really fast. It's it's a scout rifle. It just doesn't feel super special, but I like it. Nameless Midnight, another 180. 180s without box breathing are just kind of meh. It's got explosive. It's got keep away. It's got Zen moment. It's got kill clip if you want that. Overall, it's not too bad. Honestly, a decent scout rifle, but honestly, I'd just say it's C tier. Nothing crazy with this one. Nightwatch. Very similar story. It's got rapid hit explosive, rapid hit moving target. And yeah, it's also in the C tier. I would say it's a little below that one is right there. All right, a 150. 150s, in my opinion, other than boxer eating scout rifles, are the strongest scout rifles. This one is craftable. It's got okay stats. But it just doesn't really have any perks to really like help it in pvp it doesn't have a single perk in here that's good so good archetype terrible perks probably one of the worst scouts in the game just due to the perk situation paris d another 150 and this one definitely has some better perks you have rapid hit you have explosive payload you have headstone which can be decent Perpetual motion's good. It has the Hawkeye organ trait, so it's good at taking down Titan shields. It's stasis. It's perk, or it's base stats aren't the greatest. They're a little low, but these are, are these uh, scout rifles struggle a little bit with their stat package typically. So I'll put it in the B tier. I think it's pretty good just due to the archetype. Being able to three tap has a pretty competitive time to kill. Being able to kill at 0.8 seconds. Overall, just a good scout rifle. Nothing crazy, but good. All right, so we got another 200 rate of fire scout rifle. So it just, again, doesn't... A lot of these scouts just don't have good perks. The only thing maybe you'd want is Eye of the Storm or Elemental, but on scout rifles, they're kind of just eh. Yeah, this is another really bad scout. D. Okay, Polaris Lance. So I think Polaris Lance is really good. It's a 150, so the best archetype. It's got good stats. It's exotic perk. Isn't really too beneficial nowadays. It burns it, and it can be kind of fun. But overall, the exotic perk doesn't really go too much into play. The fire can sometimes net you a kill here and there. But it's it's still a really good scout rifle. I feel an issue with a lot of these exotic scout rifles is they just feel like really good scout rifles. They're just nothing super special for the most part. But I do think, I think Polaris Lance is A tier. It is really strong and it feels really good to use. Randy's throwing knife, a rapid fire scout. It's got kill clip. It's got perpetual motion on it. It's got rapid hit. And unfortunately with these, I feel like you almost need to go with a kill perk to really utilize them. Because with the kill perk proc, they, they feel really good. But without it, they just feel pretty bad in my opinion. They're just spammy and don't really kill that quick. So if Randy's I put down in the D tier. Royal Chase, this is a 180. And the perks are really bad. Really, really bad, actually. I guess no distractions and either Thresh or Dragonfly would be what you're looking for here. Maybe Quick Draw, I guess. But this is a D tier. D tier scout rifle. All right. Staccato 46. So another 180, <laughs> got explosive, which is good, and nothing else of note. Sora Synergy perk's pretty good. Stat package is okay, but this is a low C tier. Servant Leader, Rapid Fire, Scout Rifle. It's got Kill Clip, which is good. Killing Wind can be kind of fun with it. Heating Up can be pretty good. Tunnel Vision can be all right. Rapid Hit's pretty good. So... Honestly, not the worst. Field test is pretty good for an origin trait. But it's just these archetype of scout rifles just are not the greatest, unfortunately. Kill Cliff is kind of what you need for them to be good. And it has that. And it's got some decent perks here. It's just unfortunate, the archetype. So I think it's high C tier, but nothing more than that. All right, Symmetry. Now, Symmetry, honestly, it is a rapid fire. And I know I've been talking a lot of 
honestly shit about rapid fires, but symmetry I feel is super underrated. I remember when this gun first came out, everybody was like, oh my God, it can two tap with the exotic perk. Blah, 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 and was like freaking out that it was broken and broken. And then you never heard anything about it again. But this scout rifle, honestly, it's not the best like weapon in the world by any means. But I feel it is really strong and super underrated. That Those two taps can go pretty crazy. Honestly, I think it's high B tier. It can go pretty buck wild and it's probably the best rapid fire scout we got. Okay, so Skyburner's Oath. Now, this thing got changed however long ago to make it so the shots actually hit. It wasn't just like projectile based anymore, so they never hit. It's a 150 and it can scorch targets. The hip fire is a little bit of a meme, but if you're running a solar build, you can actually kind of contest like Well of Radiance and cause people to ignite with it. Honestly, it feels really good. I really like Skyburner's Oath. I honestly am going to put it up in A tier. Uh, if you haven't given Skyburner's Oath a try in a while, this thing feels so good. All right, the guiding sight. It is a 150, which, as I've said, I think is the best. Has the most competitive time to kill. It has moving target, which is good. Perpetual motion's good. Kill clips all right. Makes it so it's a little more forgiving. Cascade point can honestly really go crazy, honestly, if you pair it correctly. So, honestly, it's not a bad scout rifle. It's just nothing super crazy, to be honest. So, we'll just... I'll put it in high C tier. Transfiguration. Now, this scout rifle, from the last wish, it's craftable. So, that's always a plus. It's a 150, which is great. And it actually has some pretty good perks. It has keep away. It has explosive payload. It has moving target. It has rampage and kill clip, which, when paired together, actually makes it so you can two shot tier six and below but if you also run a armor mod on it if you run like a surge mod even even just one you can two tap tier nine below and if you run two you can just tier tap anybody which is super strong it's more of a quick play again so i can't rate it super highly because of that build right, for trials and comp but honestly it just give it a try and quick play if you get a chance it is it is super fun but for trials or comp honestly you'd run keep away and like explosive or keep away moving target whatever one you'd like and honestly it's a pretty solid scout rifle i'll put it high b tier feels really good good stats for the most part and has good perks tarnish tarnish metal so this is a 200 rate of fire it has moving target explosive it's got yeah you'd probably just want to use explosive in this spot so, and then moving target or rapid hit, whatever one you prefer. So it's it's an okay scout rifle. The organ crate really doesn't matter too much because honestly, you shouldn't be really getting too many melee kills with a scout rifle when you have a scout rifle out. But it, it's a it's an okay scout rifle. It can do the job. I'll put it low B tier. The guiding sight, high impact. Got slag shot. That's good. If you really want to, you can do iron grip. Iron grip slag shot's really good because you can just slide constantly to. You know, keep reloading it so that decrease to reload speed doesn't really matter and you just get a huge boost to stability. Honestly, really solid. Or you, if you really want, you can use Zen Moment if you don't want to give up that, you know, reload speed. Honestly, solid roll. And you could also use Rapid Aid if you want. I think this is a solid scout rifle. It being a high impact helps out a lot with it. I definitely would put it in. Honestly, I, I put it in the A tier. I think this thing's pretty good. It's got scopes, so you can kind of pick what you want for the zoom as well. Really good scout rifle. The Scholar Adept. Another high-impact scout, which is good. It can get Adept mods, which is always a plus. But its perk pool is pretty lackluster. There's nothing really here that we'd really want. Probably quick draw or maybe opening shot. No distractions isn't bad. You could do Elemental Capacitor. Celerity is actually a good perk with the amount of stat bonuses it gives you. And snapshots, okay. But overall, it's a really just not good one. We're going to put this in the low C tier. Right, Talons of the Eagle, another high impact one. So this has either Zen Moment or Firmly Planted, which are both good, depending on how you play. I personally would take Zen Moment. And then you have Moving Target for more aim assist, or you can just use Explosive Payload to flinch your enemies super hard. I think both of them are good, and 
Honestly, it's got some decent perks. I still don't think it's that great. The stats aren't the greatest, and there's definitely better. But I'd, I put it in the B tier. It's just kind of middle of the road, as most scout rifles are. All right, the Guardian Games Scout Rifle, 200 RPM. Now, this has some pretty good rolls on it. It has moving target, which is good. Zen Moment's good. No Distractions is good. Keep Away's good. Kill Clip is really good for this scout rifle. Cascade Point, depending on the build you're running, is good. And Explosive Payload's good. And it has a good origin trait. Nothing to really complain too much about this scout rifle. It's just kind of a scout rifle, and it does the job really well. Honestly, I put this one low A tier. Touch of Malice, actually not a terrible option. It's a fast firing, rapid fire frame. They made it so you can't, you know, die from the perk anymore. It has rapid hit, which is always good. Honestly, it's just it's just a very interesting weapon because it can kill pretty quickly, actually. But it's just it's not the greatest scout rifle in the world by any means. And it's a little dangerous. Typically you're gonna be trading if people are shooting at you. So I can't really place it anything higher than C tier, but it definitely is a fun gun. All right, Jade Rabbit. Now, Jade Rabbit, honestly, before they recently reworked it like a couple seasons ago to make the precision chaining like not as good, but it was pretty crazy. And then they honestly made it so the perk isn't that great anymore. But the amount of stats that this thing has just makes it so strong. It is super good. I love Jade Rabbit. It has so much stability and stats. It's just a stat monster. It's a pretty generic scout rifle, but... It's super good. The exotic perk comes into play here and there. Honestly, I like Jade Rabbit. Probably, the, I think it's like the second strongest scout rifle in the game. It's super good, right under Hung Jury. Vision of Confluence, Time Loss. So this thing actually will get Adept Mods, which is nice. That's always a bonus. You can get Zen Moment, Kill Clip. And that's probably all you'd really want for the scout rifle. Not very good. We'll put it in D's here. And lastly, Wicked Implement. Now, this is a 180 exotic scout rifle that can slow, get you stasis shards, has headstone on it. Honestly, it's not a bad scout rifle. It, a little bit build dependent, but being able to slow people with it and getting stasis crystals. Honestly, I put this one. I think it's better than these, so I'm going to put it in B. I think it's low B tier, nothing super high, but it definitely has a place and it can be decently good. All right, so this is my scout rifle tier list. If you've noticed, I feel like there's a few outstanding scouts, only really one that's like super outstanding. And then the most other scout rifles are just pretty, like they're just scout rifles. <laughs> I don't know, they they don't really outperform. Scout rifles just honestly aren't that crazy. A lot of them are very similar. There isn't really much you can do with a scout rifle. And honestly, if, unless if you're playing on a big map, you won't really be using a scout rifle too often anyway. But in my opinion, for the scout rifles, if you do like them, you should just focus on these ones, which half of them are exotic, which makes it easy. The only one that I would say that's like so outstanding compared to the rest is Hungary, that's for sure. But how do you feel about the tier list? If you did enjoy it, please remember to like. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. And thank you so much and have a good day.